Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Mod Spotlight series where today we are having a look at the Fromer Stop Pistol mod which is being made by user Degenerate Dak. And what this glorious little piece of work looks at into the game is a fun new real world World War 1 pistol in the form of the Fromer Stop Pistol. And this is a pretty neat little weapon I've very much been enjoying my time with. And plus you guys know me, I'm a sucker for a real world history historic gun, especially ones from the First World War because, well, that period had so many weird, wacky gun designs that I feel really fit the Fallout aesthetic, and I think this is certainly one of those. So let's uh, jump on over here and have a look at what we do get with the Fromer Stop Pistol, which in its most uh, basic and standard form will deal just a mere 18 damage using a 38 round with a firing rate of 66, a range of 83, accuracy of 60, and a weight of 4.8. Not too bad there. And as you can see, this is a pretty good looking gun on the texturing and modeling. And yeah, with the modeling of that, I mean, the Fromer is just such a strange looking gun that I quite enjoy. You got the barrel down here on the lower section of it. There is no slide like you typically think of with a semi-automatic pistol. It's all internal. This all up here is just solid steel. Very, very cool indeed. And just a lot of nice little uh, details on here with like the wording and lettering all up there. Very, very cool. Now, as for the modifications for this gun, we've got a pretty decent list of categories, but nothing too crazy and and not the biggest list ever, but enough to keep this gun more useful into the mid-game, as this is very much meant to be an early game weapon. So as for how you do get your hands on this thing, like I said, it is early game, so you will start seeing them spawn in the world at level four, where they are added into the leveled list. And you'll find them on pretty much everyone. You'll have them on gunners, minutemen, railroad agents, trigger men, occasional raider bosses, and of course, vendors. So pretty much everyone in the world, except for the Children of Adam and the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's fun in that regard. Oh, and of course, the Institute, I guess they won't have them. Now, even though you'll find them on darn near everybody, it's actually going to be a very low chance to spawn because this is meant to be a unique antique weapon. So you're not going to be finding them all over the place. It'll take you a little bit to get your hands on one, unless, of course, you cheat like I did with the console commands. Not too bad there, I guess. But yeah, you know, it will be a more rare of a weapon. Now, as for the modifications you can put on once you do find it, like I said, we've got a good list of things. Not the biggest, but enough to make it more useful into the mid-game. Starting with the receivers, where we've got the pretty typical things here of standard, hardened, powerful, and advanced. But we also do have an experimental automatic receiver, which, hmm, oh boy, is interestingly the most powerful of the different receivers here. Normally, once you go automatic, you lose damage and, of course, gain the firing rate. But here, we go from advanced to 39 to the experimental with 43. So, not bad there at all. But it will, of course, require some commando and gun to make. But that's not too bad overall in, uh, you know, the grand scheme of your perk list. Now, as for the barrel category, this is a little bit stranger, but I like it because weird. We have the short barrel, typical. A long barrel just jutting out from the bottom there. And, of course, an extra long barrel, which I think looks ridiculous, but that's the fun of these sorts of guns. Now then, in the grip category, we only have two options, and this is mainly aesthetic, though you either go from the standard wood to the polymer grip, which does change at least one stat. It does make the gun ever so slightly lighter, but other than that, it's mainly for aesthetics. Now then, in the magazine category, we've got a good deal of options here of either the standard, a quick eject, an extended and quick eject, and then a really extended magazine for all the bullets. Perfect for using it with that uh, automatic receiver. Now then, we have the sights category, where we've actually got a pretty decent list of things here, where we've got standard, compact reflex, tactical reflex enclosed, a combat optic, laser sight, short scope, short night vision, and short recon. That one there, the night vision taking up basically the entire size of the gun, but hey, that works. <laughs> <laughs> now next, in the muzzle category, we've got a, fun, a couple of fun ones here. We've either got nothing, 
the fork bayonet if you like to eat with your gun. Weird, and I love it. A makeshift bayonet, just a little squiggly piece of metal. My personal favorite in here, the heavy blade. I'm not usually one much for melee, but this just makes the gun look very cool, so I do really like it. We then also have a makeshift suppressor, and then a more normal suppressor. And finally, we do have a texture category in here, so if you do want to change up the aesthetics of the gun, you've got the options of steel, blue steel, nickel, gold, Minuteman, railroad, gunner, me, which is awesome and possibly one of the reasons I love this mod so much, but hey, it's also red, and who doesn't like red? I just like that someone made a texture of a gun for me. That's just very cool. And we also have some others in here, too, of the Brandy Boy paint, the Pig's Piece of Crap, and the Alcabreach uh, engraving right there. So a lot of fun options. My personal favorite here. It's just neat. And yeah, just a lot of good options in here for you to, you know, make the gun look how you'd like. And that is it for the modifications. Let me go grab my modified ones, and then we will take some shots and see how this thing does roll. So let's grab that there and start with our standard gun and fire. And there we go. Now the gun does use the base deliver animations. Uh, and there is a slight issue that uh, some of the sights are a little bit misaligned. But other than that, it is uh, pretty good on the aiming for iron sights at the very least. And the majority of the sights work well for this gun. And the animations do work quite well, being the standard deliver. I do like it. And I especially do like that just internal firing mechanism of it all being... Well, internal there, rather than having the more traditional slide we'd think of today. It's just fun. Now, as for firing rate and the kick on this, it's not too bad. Quite easily controllable for you, so always good there to have a controllable handgun. Though, uh, let's move over to the suppressed one next. It's got to have the just traditional suppressed sounds there, but a very nice indeed. And of course... My favorite of the texture options on this one. <laughs> I just love that. It's, it's wonderful. Oh, it's fun to see. There we go. And let's head on over to the tactical one I made, which of course does have that giant freaking blade in front of it. And automatic, which is just fun. So of course, bash, there we go. And fire. There we are. Now you're going to chew through your bullets pretty quick with 16 only being in the largest of the extended magazines and it does make it a little bit less controllable a little bit harder to keep this thing on target but still overall not too shabby there in the slightest and you know it's just fun having this uh, machine pistol to you know just take down your enemies with and with that 43 damage not too bad at all so let us uh, grab a oh boy i was originally thinking of doing a gunner or something but what the heck let's go with our typical death claw and just see how that rolls with the fully automatic one here and die death claw Ooh, not too bad that 43 damage especially once you get all of them on target isn't too bad at all let me actually switch on over, though, to the uh, silenced one. There we are. Come back, please. All right, there we go. There we go. And move back up here as he's coming back towards me. I don't need to die today. Uh, oh, boy. He just keeps... Yeah, yeah. I, I, I need to wait down here for a little bit longer for him to get close. All right, all right. Come at me, Deathclaw. Wait for it. Wait for it. Now run. <laughs> Jeez, the Deathclaw. Wonderful. All right, let's just charge him now. He's just got a little bit of health left. Come back here, Deathclaw. You need to die from the Fromer World War One pistol. There we go. Magnificent. And a good <gasps> slice for good measure. <laughs> yes, this is a fun little mod. I do, as always, enjoy a World War One pistol being added into the game. And this Fromer Stop pistol is a pretty unique design that I do really enjoy. And all in all, it's just a fun gun mod. And of course, they've made me a texture, and that's just that just puts it even higher in my book. So if you'd like to take a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description 
as per usual. But that, my friends, is going to be it for this one today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you come back for whatever mod we are looking at next. But until that time, thank you for watching. And as always, well, have a good one.